Blessed Lord, brothers and sisters, this is another Shabbat lesson. This is a video. I'm going to title it our uh, Melanin in a Bottle. Right? Melanin in a Bottle, brothers and sisters. For the longest, the colonizers have been trying to find a way how to capture our melanin. Right? So they could have our skin tone because they realize how important our melanin is. You know, our melanin is like a, a it's like a protective coat of arm protect us from the sun and the rays of the sun our skin absorb the sun rays but as it's in turn break it down and give us energy you see brothers and sisters we get vitamins from the sun you see the most I know what he was doing brothers and sisters when he created us people she was pastors ethnic Israel and in this video brothers and sisters you know this one particular woman you know who injected herself <laughs> with <laughs> melanin biases they gotta ask the question where do they get all this melanin from brothers and sisters you know is it connected to the numerous of black men and women and children being you know mysteriously disappeared all over the world brothers and sisters so you gotta ask these questions you know they don't like us they don't they don't they don't like us they hate us but yet till they want to be like us may that make sense brothers and sisters you know if you don't like a particular thing why you want to be like that particular particular thing you hate make it make sense brothers and sisters but but i tell you this they do this because nature is turned against them you know what i mean Nature is turning against them. The heat of the sun is burning them up. You see, brothers and sisters. So you know, what I mean, you know what I like to do, brothers and sisters. I like to put in context with scriptures. So let's go to Second Timothy, Second Timothy, chapter three. We got start at thirteen, right? But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. That's exactly what's going to see in the video. You are a white person walk around with injecting melanin in your skin to look black, to look like the niggas who you hate. And then the stereotype of the typical ratchet woman, so called black woman, they go and put on. Uh, green hair, all type of manner of color hair, brothers and sisters. Do you know what I mean? To, to portray the, 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 the dysfunction of the black woman in our community. This is why I tell you, black women, dogs of Zion, you gotta come back to yourself. Come back to your natural hair, come back to your natural body, come back to your natural mind, and the natural love of the Most High Yahuwah. In Yahusha's name, I come back to these laws, come back to these statues. Because your enemy wants to look like you and you want to look like your enemy. Both of you are confused. You know what I'm saying? Both of you don't have no compass, no moral direction because you, you forsake the most of Yahoo and his whole son Yahusha and his commandments, you see. So, take, take heed and take note of these things, brothers and sisters. You know, they know who you are. Turn from your wicked ways, brothers and sisters. Okay, watch this video, like, share, subscribe. It's free. Blessed love.
this for this. Just, just know how special you are, my people. Just know how special you are. Thank you for coming here and joining us today. So, Hannah, from a young age, you'd been using um, self-tanning products, yeah. hadn't you? Yeah. But you, the, the look you achieved with that, you weren't happy with. What? It wasn't even that I wasn't happy with it. It's just, like, the smells. And that whenever it's washing off, because I go to the gym as well, like, it, would, it goes all patchy. And it's... It wasn't the look it you wasn't were the look I was um, So you you then met Ben, and Ben, you'd been using sunbeds from about 15. So you were yeah, quite by young. 15 I started using sunbeds. Why? So I did. Um, when I, was, I just always liked being tan, and we, me and my family went on holiday when we were younger. We used to compare and see how you, you get the darkest. Right. And so my friends started doing sunbeds as well, 15, so I started doing them. And then I met Hannah when she, I was about 17 when I met you. Yeah, right. 17. Was and then Hannah started doing them as well. So... What is it with the colour? Why Why is it? I mean, we all go on holiday. I mean, you, you, if you come back and you haven't got a bit of a tan, you're a bit disappointed. Yeah. What's the point of going away if people don't know you've been away? That sort of thing. But why this colour? Why so deep? Why so intense? Um, just, like, gradually built it up. And I think you, I feel better with a tan, basically. I think you look better in clothes and stuff. Just sort of gradually got there. Yeah. Yeah. I actually feel like... Right now we're actually quite toned on. We have been so much darker. You have been we have darker been darker. Darker. We've been so much darker. I was thinking when you like sat down hold, you're looking very pale. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, it, it, this is all well and good. I mean, you have, the, as you say, you've got the messy tanning products, um, and then you try the sunbeds. Yeah. Um, and then there's the injections. So uh, this is your brother, wasn't it? Yeah, my brother. So, so explain how this happened. He just came in one day and he was a completely different colour, and we were like what actually happened and he was like it was tannin injections and then obviously Ben had to try them I know I seen them being so dark and I was like flip I wanted it's to just, try it was them. Mad, so I started mad. trying them and then it just worked straight away for me and then it took a year or two later before I tried them and a year or two and you didn't try them at first because you were was, a bit anxious about like it injecting something injecting into yourself, something yeah, into your body understandably like, yeah. so yeah. you're the first time you tried it you did have quite a reaction to yeah, it. Yeah, it was. It made me quite feel quite sick. A few days. For a few days. days. And then it would just sort of go away. You had a, a, another bad one. Yeah, I, I got a tan injection online, so I did. And it gave me an abscess, so I did in my stomach. And I had to get, um, I, was on, I had to go to the hospital and was on antibiotics. I had the course of antibiotics. What did the doctor say? it. They found out it was like a bacterial infection, and in they said it was something that was in the tan and not like a dirty needle or something that I've used. But they found out it was in, in the product I bought, mm. and it did to put me off really for, for taking them, and I did stop taking them for a good while. But it hasn't but then put you off totally. I don't buy them online anymore, so I wouldn't buy them online. But I just love being tan, so. So yeah. you'll continue to yeah, do anything basically. to achieve this look. The yeah. thing is, you're not just um, injecting yourselves because in order to make it the best possible tan you can get, you use them with the sunbeds at yeah, the same yeah. time. So so how does it work? If you're going to be going away on holiday, for example, I know when you went to Marbella, for example, yeah. what's the prep to go away on a trip like that? Just, like, when we just do sunbeds, like, two to three times a week? 15 minutes, I would right. do. Ben would do, like, a lot less because he would burn. I would burn my face but look red, so it would. It's nothing really. And do you worry about, because, I mean, there's an awful lot, you know, in these sort of 80s when people were using sunbeds an awful lot, people would say they didn't understand uh, how unhealthy they were, how bad they were, yeah. the skin cancer, people weren't, there wasn't so much awareness surrounding that. There is an awful lot out there now. Um, do you worry about that, using the yeah. sunbeds so much? 100%, yeah. I Every do, day. We do worry about like cancer and stuff, but we just like to be tan. Everyone, like people smoke and stuff. Yeah, there's people who cancer. smoke 40 cigarettes so a day. About They're putting their stuff. Think so. What do your family say? They don't my mum's it, totally my sister against and my brother it. also have tried it, so my mum can't yeah. really say much. And what does your mum say? My mum's a bit of a pushover. <laughs> She's a pushover. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about the rest of the family? Well, my sister, she has tried it too, and yeah. my brother obviously got us into it, so. Yeah. yeah. What about yours? Because of the infection, my mum's totally against it, so she is. But did she think you're daft? Absolutely. An idiot. <laughs> is she? Is yeah. she? I mean, the thing is that <clears throat> you look at the NHS, unequivocal about the danger of the product that you're using, and it's called 
melanotan. melanotan yeah. So anyone currently using melanotan should stop doing so immediately for their own safety. This is the NHS. The drug has not been safety tested by the UK Medicine Safety Agency. Users are advised to consult their GP for advice. You should stop this immediately. Is that enough to stop you doing it? I actually was not aware. I didn't know it was... I literally didn't even know anything about that, but... So how do you feel if now you stop? know that? I don't really know. I would actually be able to stop and go back to town, Yeah. to be honest. Um, and also, you know, the, the, the people have confused you for a different race. Yeah. I think it's because, obviously, I wear makeup and stuff too, so dark and style, like, like the hollows in my face is too, with obviously contour and stuff, so... And have people found that? If, uh, 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 people accepted yeah, online, that? Yeah, online. I them? get a lot of hate for it. What did they see? Uh, such bad things. Like, um, like really shallow things. Like, I would be better off killing myself. Things like that. Really, really horrible terrible. things. Just because I, mean, I have a tan. No one should ever. Over the sake of a tan. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, you have said, though, that you would consider stopping Completely, this. Completely, yeah. Because you think, actually, you know, as you said, you, you know that this yeah. isn't, isn't Obviously, good. Obviously, like, I'm into, like, beauty and stuff too, so I don't want to have wrinkly skin either, so. So when is the right time to stop, <laughs> do you think? Possibly soon. Possibly yeah. soon. And what about you? I go through phases of being, like, obsessed by stuff for a long period of time and then just not not doing it. So maybe I, maybe I might stop one day, but I just like, like being tan, so I'm just going to continue be right. Just looking through <clears throat> some of the things, excuse me, that people have said, I suffer from skin cancer, it makes me so angry that people can be so irresponsible and foolish. Spray tan is just as effective, uh, it just doesn't come with a death warning. Um, uh, Kel says uh, each to their own, it's only themselves that they're doing it to. Claire says this is sad, Should try. she said, try to love yourself for your natural beauty, you're a very pretty girl. What do you say to that? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, guys, thank you very much indeed for coming in today. Thank you. It's, That's uh, no you know, thank you for having us. It's absolutely fascinating. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Stay safe, both of you. All right. Thank, thank you. you.